So thank you all. Well, let me make sure it shows up for you guys. <laughs> That's the whole point of Twitch. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> um, thank you all for joining me. Like, uh, I streamed, like, for some reason, like, Potrader and I, we call it Strum. Like, we were always thinking, like, what's the past tense of stream? So, for some reason, we just call it Strum. I don't know what makes us think that. But anyway, um, so I streamed for about four hours earlier. Then I had dinner. We got a lot done in those four hours. We did a lot of quests, and we fought Doomgaze, who we renamed Steve for some reason. And then we killed him. We killed Steve. Steve had to die. And then uh, we did some new um, events, like some new cutscenes with Locke and Celis, Celeste. Um, we got a lot done. We got we went through like the whole auction thing. We got all the espers and all that. That took a while. So now we're going to continue by defeating Doomgaze. We uh, got uh, Doomgazes or Death Gazes, Talon, and so that opens up a couple new quests. So we're going to start out by doing one, which is Owser's Collection. Hello, Joey Martin sixty <clears> four. <throat> Hello, everybody. Oh yeah, that's right. So Narf and RA actually made a fan art of us killing Steve. So let me get this fan art for you guys. I think I saved it so that I could show you guys. Uh, is this one it? Yep, that's it. Okay. So this is by Narf and RA. Oh man, you can barely see it on this screen. Okay. So we killed S Steve, the Doom Gaze, the Death Gaze. I don't know why we called him Steve. We were just like, we were sick of fighting Death Gaze the normal way. So we decided, hey, let's just make this a little more fun. Um, so we called him Steve. Like, I can rename characters or enemies live. So I did that. We called him Steve, and then he actually was a little bit easier to take down. And we killed him as Steve. Anyway, so, bye, Steve. You died. <clears throat> okay. So, um, for that. Steve fan art, I give you eight tomato points. Narf. Never forget Steve. Okay, so now we're going into Owser's place. Hello, Kevin Force. Really glad you like Legends of Localization. Like, sometimes, um, I go into such detail about such weird things that I kind of wonder if I come across as a crazy person. Oh, there's a person here. <clears throat> Unless I'm crazy. She's just saying there's a lot of opera fans in this town. Um, yeah, so like sometimes I wonder if I come across as one of those crazy ultra super nerds who is like in The Simpsons, you know, like talking about the wizard key in the dungeon and the itchy and scratchy ROM CD, CD ROM. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, welcome everybody. Like, if you're new, it's the Final Fantasy 6 T edition. This is a Japanese ROM hack. Um, as far as I know, it's not very well known outside of Japan, but it's a really, really extensive Japanese ROM hack. As you can see, we've been playing it for 52 hours, maybe even more than that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like, I've, I've died a lot. Twitch was freaking out yesterday, so we lost a lot of work. Stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> oh, no, don't tell people about the secret text on the images on the site. So what's the one drink I missed most from Japan? I would have to say Aquarius, just because, like, it was sort of my... Um, the drink I would always buy, because it was always like really a lot of it, and you can get it cheap in Japan. It's kind of like Pokari Sweat or a, a nice, refreshing uh, energy drink. Not energy drink, um, sports drink, without being overpowering. <clears throat> oh crap, I just realized we have to walk through this whole place, don't we? So I think Aquarius. So, um, thank you all for joining me yet again. Um, while Potrader is gone, like usually I, I stream with my wife, Potrader. Or just Poe. Um, but she's in packs doing things. Oh, I forgot what's the secret to these guys. Oh, I gotta cure them. That's right. So as you can see, I have like all kinds of my programming hacking going on here. This like stuff on the side and stuff. That isn't um, that isn't the hack. That's me. <clears throat> okay, so I think the trick to these Liliths was that we actually have to heal them. Anyway, so usually I, I uh, you know stream with Poe Trader, but she's gone at packs for the next week and a half. So it's a little bit lonely and lonelier and quieter. Um, so it's just me, but I'm hoping that while she's gone, I can uh, try to get through this hack in time. You know, by the time she gets back, we've been it's like 50 something hours now. <clears throat> Aquarius, just normal Aquarius. <clears throat> Everybody, just cure the snake ladies. I don't remember what those other things do. What do they do? 
Uh oh. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna set up Skype. I'm gonna do some. Um, I don't know if I can set it up tomorrow because I, I think I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. It depends on. Um, depends on stuff because a lot of the work I do it depends on Japan and Japan time and how Japan. Yeah, it's really like, oops. So my work schedule is always kind of a gamble. That's why I'm not at PAX. You know, I have like um, a very slow work week this week in the last few weeks. So I could have totally gone to PAX, but I couldn't have planned for it ahead of time. <clears throat> So I haven't lost any frames over here, so I don't know... I hope Twitch isn't getting attacked anymore. Yep, 7 pain. So this is a Japanese hack, and it's kind of like... Um, it adds a whole bunch of content around the main game. So you can play through the main game normally. It has some new events in the main game, but outside of the main game, there's like new side quests and things. And um, it's kind of like a uh, Square Enix... Um, what was it like? How do I explain it? It's kind of like a celebration of Square Enix games. So, you know, you got like, um, th there's also a lot of new music in this hack. So you got a lot of Final Fantasy 1 and 2 and 3. So you got all these um, new songs in the game. Romancing Saga, you know, you got Chrono, Chrono Trigger, stuff like that. So um, it kind of takes little pieces from other Square Enix games in some places. Oh man, I always forget this. I always get this mixed up. <clears throat> so if you guys um if you any of you were new to the stream we're actually like 50 something hours in so we're pretty far in oh crap if you are under 18 please look away now oh man these guys are hard i forgot that they do stuff like this <clears throat> oh i can't run away crap well See you later, Alluring Rider. Hmm. Yep, Miles Wolfman, this is for Realm. Like, we need to have Realm, and we need to have defeated uh, Death Gaze. Because by defeating Death Gaze, we got Death Gaze's Talon. So, apparently we can take it back to Owser. And uh, I think we can get Realm's alternate outfit. Because in, in this hack, you can get alternate outfits. Oh shoot, I can't remember which one it is, you guys. Is it this one? This feels rightish. I already got all of those. Oh, this is the this is the evil one. Okay. So yeah, if you check that link above the video there, I have some uh, some basic information about this hack. Um, a link to the download, and um, just um, somebody else started to translate the documentation. <clears throat> oh no, we've already defeated. This is a, a new thing. Okay, so let's talk to him. Okay, so Alzer is now saying, because this is a new event, I'm going to live translate this, but um, whenever there's normal text, I won't translate it. Um, so Alzer is saying, hmm? That fang. So I guess it's a fang? Um, so we are saying um, it fell, or we found it after we defeated the, a monster called Death Gaze. So Alzer is like, my word, you actually defeated that ancient monster. And Alzer is continuing by saying, um, <clears throat> So that monster is a such a legendary monster that it is in, um, it is even mentioned in some ancient, some extremely ancient writings that I possess, that I own. So Alzer is saying, to think that there's actually somebody who could defeat it. Ah uh, yes, uh, take this with you. So we got a grow egg, which is apparently the name, the Japanese name for the experience egg. So I'm totally gonna put that on somebody now. So Alzer is continuing by saying, um, let's see, given that you were able to defeat a legendary monster, I'm um, I'm sure that you'll be able to save this world. Um, this is all that I can do, but. Um, all of that I can do to help, but um, please um, fight for my sake as well, like for me as too. Okay. So there we go. I think we finished that one. Let me talk to him again, though. 
Okay, so he's saying, I don't know if this is in the original, so I'll just translate it anyway, but he's saying, um, when you guys, when you guys save the world, I, or I'm thinking that when you guys save the world, I will, um, draw your, a painting of you guys, and, uh, hang it up for decoration as a, as a commemoration. So there we go. So it looks like we finished that quest. I wouldn't even call it a quest. Well, I guess you would, because you had to defeat Doom Gaze, Death Gaze. Um, who should I put this on? Um, so she has the... Hmm. Actually, I'm not sure who I'm going to put this on. Should I put it on her? Yeah, I'll put, I'll put the experience egg on Terra. Unless you guys have a good suggestion. <clears throat> so thank you all for joining me again after my dinner. I usually don't stream this much, but for the next week and a half, I'm going to have a little bit more time than usual. Hello, little Harlequin. Glad to have you here. Um, okay, so we finished that, so I'm going to um, edit that list right there that says that we did it. So this was called Alzer's Collection, so class completed. Okay, so I'm going to reset it, and then the next time that the event list pops up, it will say that Alzer's Collection event is completed. I really need to improve that programming so I can just like click a thing then it'll make a sound and an animation and it'll complete a quest. Okay. So we got that done. So actually the next one, um, now that we have the uh, Doom Gaze's Talon. Death Gaze. I don't know why I keep saying Doom Gaze. Death Gaze's Talon. Oh crap. I could have just teleported, couldn't I? Alright. I don't think I can run, so I'm going to have to fight these guys. Man, it keeps going for that one. So, 26, Angelo 26. I did indeed get the Golem Esper after, like, forever. Trying to trying to get the op, op, or not the, or the auction thing to work. Like, we even tried, like, the speedrunner tricks, but it didn't seem to work for some reason. Yeah, like, I know him as Doom Gaze, but for some reason I figured that Death Gaze would be an easier name for me to, to get used to. Yeah, it's my it's my old bee, my old bee smell. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to get out of here, and then actually I need to check out the next quest I'm going to do involves Umaro and the the Death Gaze Talon. The thing is though, is um after you get the Death Gaze Talon, if you do Umaro's quest first, you lose the Death, you lose the Talon, which means that you couldn't do this Alger one. So it's important to have done this Alger one first. Actually, um, when I go out, I'm going to go look at Realm's new outfit, because I think that's what we got. Oh, no, wait, no. We have to do the, the Hydon thing to get that. So never mind. Let's get out of here. Oh, no, we can't. <clears throat> you fell asleep during the stream. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh man, I can't leave. I actually have to go out the long way. Okay, if that's the case, I'm going to put on a... a, like, um, encounter decreasing accessory. So I think we have to go out this way and then, like, takes us the wrong way. There we go. Oh. So if you guys have missed any of today's earlier stream, like four hours of earlier stream, or pretty much just any of the streams. Uh, I put everything up on my YouTube. Uh, there's a link somewhere on my... somewhere around the video if you're looking at... I don't know. There's a link somewhere. There's a link to the past. Um, so anyway, like I, I always organize pretty much after every stream immediately I um, cut everything up into logical segments and then I put them on YouTube. Okay, cool, Belthasar. That makes sense. For some reason, I thought I was able to teleport out after I did, you know, the painting battle. I'm not sure what... I'm like, Chardonook? How do you pronounce that? <clears throat> Let's palette swap this enemy. That's an Aqua Behemoth. And that is Disco. Disco Behemoth. Okay, so we're out of here, yes. 
<laughs> so do Diglets, do they like take you out of dungeons? So when Potrader comes back in a week and a half, I really have to get back on the Poke on the Pokeball. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, like uh I really need to get back on Pokemon, because you know, I haven't played it since 1998, so I'm trying to finally get through that game, but uh, it's, it's going so slowly. <clears throat> that makes sense, Nitrodon. Thanks. And thanks for, uh, for joining. I didn't know if you were in here earlier today. My, vo my voice sounds kind of hoarse. I'm going to take a drink of water. Yeah, so if you guys are new, like anybody who's new, like everybody has an alternate outfit now, and usually you have to unlock them, and each outfit comes with different stats, so sometimes it pays to have like your normal outfit, and other times it's another. Cool Narf NRA, that makes sense. I think I do have an Abra. I think people were surprised how quickly I caught my Abra. There's a bug in here, it's bugging me. Maybe that's why they say that. It's bugging. Okay. Okay, so actually I'm not sure where I need to go for the Amaro thing, so look up real quick. I need to look up real quick where I need to go for Umaro's secret quest. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Umaro quest. Where are you? 